Live music is special for a wide range of reasons, hearing your favorite song in the same room as your most loved band, sharing the experience with thousands of others and the incredible show that artists will put on. The ranking of the highest grossing concert tours in history generally lies unaltered from year to year with few if any changes. However, here's the list of the highest grossing concert tours of all time as of March 2018. Number 10. The Police Reunion Tour. The Reunion Tour was a 2007-2008 worldwide concert tour by the police, marking the 30th anniversary of their beginnings. At its conclusion, the tour became the third, now tenth, highest grossing tour of all time, with revenues reaching over $360 million. The tour began in May 2007 to overwhelmingly positive reviews from fans and critics alike and ended in August 2008 with a final show at Madison Square Garden. Number 9. The Garth Brooks World Tour with Trisha Yearwood. The World Tour is a concert tour by American singers Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood. Beginning on September 4, 2014, in Rosemont, Illinois, the tour is Brooks' first in 13 years after coming out of retirement. It launched in support of his 2014 studio album, Man Against Machine. High demand has prompted multiple concerts to be added in each city, with Brooks performing two shows per night in some cases. With nearly 400 shows, the tour has already broken the record for the most all-time concerts in a tour. Statistically, the tour is on track to generate attendance and revenue among the highest grossing concert tours. It currently holds the record for the highest grossing country music tour of all time, with its $364 million revenue. Number 8. The U2 Vertigo Tour. The Vertigo Tour was a worldwide concert tour by the Irish rock band U2. Staged in support of the group's 2004 album, How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb, the tour visited arenas and stadiums from 2005 through 2006. The Vertigo Tour consisted of five legs that alternated between indoor arena shows in North America and outdoor stadium shows internationally. By the time it finished, the Vertigo Tour had sold 4,619,021 tickets, with 131 shows, for a total gross of $389 million. Number 7. Madonna, Sticky and Sweet Tour. Sticky and Sweet Tour was the eighth concert tour by American singer Madonna to promote her 11th studio album, Hard Candy. It began in August 2008 and was Madonna's first tour from her new recording and business deal with Live Nation. The tour was announced in February 2008, with dates for European and North American venues revealed. Though initially planned, the tour did not visit Australia due to financial problems and the financial recession. Overall, Madonna performed to over 3.5 million fans in 32 countries, grossing a total of $408 million. Number 6. ACDC Black Ice World Tour. The tour was the band's first since the Stiff Upper Lip World Tour in 2000 and 2001. It was the last tour with founding member and rhythm guitarist Malcolm Young, who left the band in September 2014 due to ill health, and it was also the last tour with longtime drummer Phil Rudd. This was also the last full tour to feature longtime lead vocalist Brian Johnson as he left the band halfway during the Rocker Bust World Tour due to hearing problems and was replaced by Axl Rose. At the end the tour became the most successful by ACDC, grossing roughly $441.1 million. Number 5. Roger Waters, The Wall Live. The Wall Live was a worldwide concert tour by Roger Waters, former member of Pink Floyd. The tour is the first time the Pink Floyd album The Wall has been performed in its entirety by the band or any of its former members since Waters performed the album Live in Berlin 21 July 1990. According to Cole Morton of the Daily Mail, the touring version of Pink Floyd's The Wall is one of the most ambitious and complex rock shows ever staged. The tour had six legs, 219 shows, and grossed more than $458 million. Number 4. Guns N' Roses, Not In This Lifetime Tour. The Not In This Lifetime Tour is an ongoing concert tour by hard rock band Guns N' Roses. 
It features classic lineup members Axl Rose, Slash and Duff McKagan, marking the first time since the Use Your Illusion tour in 1993 that the three performed together. The group embarked on the world tour that spanned several continents, with 148 shows performed or scheduled so far. The tour has been a financial success, grossing over $480 million to date, making it the fourth highest grossing concert tour of all time. Number 3. Coldplay, A Head Full of Dreams Tour. A Head Full of Dreams Tour was the seventh concert tour undertaken by British alternative rock band Coldplay, launched in support of their namesake seventh studio album A Head Full of Dreams. Marking the band's return to large-scale venues after the brief and intimate Ghost Stories tour, the tour visited stadiums and arenas across five continents. The tour consisted of eight legs, with a total of 122 shows grossing $523 million which is the third highest grossing concert tour in history. Number 2. The Rolling Stones, A Bigger Bang Tour. A Bigger Bang was a worldwide concert tour by the Rolling Stones which took place between August 2005 and August 2007 in support of their album A Bigger Bang. The outstanding scale of the tour was realized on 18 February 2006 when the Stones played a one-night concert on Capacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The free concert was broadcast on television and broke several records as the largest rock concert of all time. There were a reported 2 million people present on the beach and crowding subsequent streets. The tour consisted 147 shows and grossed $558.3 million. Number 1. U2 360 Degrees Tour. The U2 360 Degrees Tour was a worldwide concert tour by rock band U2. Launched in support of the group's 2009 album No Line on the Horizon, the tour visited stadiums from 2009 through 2011. The concerts featured the band playing in the round on a circular stage, allowing the audience to surround them on all sides. To accommodate the stage configuration, a large four-legged structure nicknamed the claw was built above the stage, with the sound system and a cylindrical, expanding video screen on top of it. At 164 feet 50 meters tall, it was the largest stage ever constructed. U2 claimed that the tour would be the first time a band has toured in stadiums with such a unique and original structure. The tour was generally well received by critics and fans. By its conclusion, U2 360 Degrees had set records for the highest grossing concert tour with $736 million in ticket sales and for the highest attended tour with over 7.2 million tickets sold. Hope you liked this video. Feel free to leave a comment and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos.